Hey guys, how are ya? This is Dan, aka Saxman112, here today doing a video request from Toyo for Life 94, a video showing my 2005 Toyota Highlander. So, without further ado, here we go. Starting off with the exterior of the car, as you can see, it is a nice light blue. So, yeah. As you can see, it has chrome wheel covers or rims. And here is the front grille. And because I have the base 2005 Toyota Highlander, I do not have the fog lights. So instead, it just has those holes. So, as you can see, it's just the standard headlights up here. Going around to the other side, other tires. And this model has manual folding mirrors. has cloth seats for the base model. You know, the somewhat spacious second row, so that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Then, you know, trunk, as you can see, this model does not have the third row, so you get a little bit more cargo space. Then these seats right here actually fold forward. Yeah, you get the point. So if you do that, you'll get a little bit more cargo space. And as you can see, or as, as most of you probably know, the 2005 Toyota Highlanders come with a V6 engine. Nice taillights right there. And then Highlander. Pockets in the back of each seat. And cup holders in the door. Let's put these seats back up. There we go. And here's what it looks like from the driver's seat. And you have a pretty nice array of things here. You have your standard light control right here. For the brights, the parking lamps, and off. And because this is a base model, it does not have automatic lights. It does have power mirrors. I'll show this, show this to you once I turn the car on. Your standard AC controls, stereo, and console shifting. And right here, um, this would be empty because um, the base two, 2005 Highlander does not come with a cup holder unfortunately. As you can see it closes like okay, so. Ashtray, don't really use it. Then some other storage here in the console. As you can see it, it works pretty nice. And then also because of the base model it does not have the wood finish. Instead it just has some plastic. Just in case for those you just in case you wanted to, wanted to know. Alright, so now I'll show you how the instrument panel looks. Uh, it has 50,915 miles on the odometer. And as you can see, because it's somewhat darker outside, I have the lights turned on here. So things look pretty well illuminated. I'll show you how shifting works. So as you can see, 
works pretty well. And now I'll start her up so I can show you how it sounds and give you a look under the hood. So I'll pop the hood. Oh, there we go. And under the hood, we have um, the standard um, V6 engine with variable valve timing and intelligence. So that's pretty nice. So now I'll show you how it sounds. So as you can see, it sounds pretty nice. Now I'll give you an exhaust clip. Alright, so now I'll shut it off so I can just show you the rest of the stuff. Oh, there we go. Pretty decent sounding stereo. It has six presets for both FM and AM. And the nice thing about this car is that it gives you FM1 and FM2 because of the limited availability of presets. So that means you can have 12, essentially up to 12 presets for FM. So that's very nice. Then AM, as you can see, just your standard AM. Also there's a tape deck, as usual, at least for a 2005 car. And as you can see in here, I actually have an iPod cassette adapter. So you can hook up your iPod, or, well, for any matter, any MP3 player up to this, and have it play through the car stereo. You know, so I have CD. I don't use it much because I listen to my iPod mostly, or just the radio. As you can see, right here is just a single, single zone climate control. Nothing too fancy. Just option for the span for the fan speed. The option to have rec recycled air on or off. AC, rear frost. Those are pretty easy to use. Then you have your zone control right here. Oh, also forgot to mention there is a there's a power outlet right here and under there. That's pretty nice. Alright, so that's about that about wraps it up for this first video on the 2005 Toyota Highlander. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want me to, I can make a test drive video of this car if you so desire. So, once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.